If you glance over the videos on my channel, you'll quickly surmise that I'm an RGB light enthusiast. I think that the right lighting can shift mood, calm the senses, enhance gaming, and pretty much all other forms of media consumption. So I'm always keeping an eye out for new light products with the potential to expand on that experience. This compact portable smart lamp from Govi, dubbed StarPal, is the latest RGB light product that I've had the opportunity to test and play around with over the last few weeks. For this video, we'll take a close look at the specs, the features, and use case scenarios that makes the StarPal an excellent portable option to create some new positive vibes in your game room or living space area. For those timestamp jumpers, I want to preference this video with giving you guys the heads up that if you use the Mr. Tech code shown on the screen and embedded in the description, you'll receive a 30% discount on Amazon at checkout. Now guys, when it comes to RGB lighting throughout my home, Govi pretty much powers it all, with the exception of a handful of products. So these aren't simply products that come across my desk momentarily and are then tossed in the back of the closet to make room for the next. I use a lot of Govi Light products because I really like the quality, the features, and the fact that they're offered at such competitive prices. Now, before we jump headfirst into the Govi Portable Star Pal, I want to introduce you guys to the Aura Light RGB WW Smart Lamp that Govi also sent over my way to test out. The Aura Light is being positioned as the little brother offering as compared to the original Aura, which it is, because it doesn't offer RGB IC and it isn't nearly as customizable but the Aura Light actually has a few bells and whistles that I actually prefer versus the original model. Firstly, the Aura Light now has the control box engineered inside of the unit itself, and therefore the microphone is positioned on the top of the lamp, which in my opinion not only looks cleaner than the control box coming out of the back of the device as with the original Aura, but it also means that the mic on the Aura Light is at a much more ideal location to pick up your audio. Secondly, the Aura Light's new design, with the smaller button surface on the top of the unit, allows for the light rays to emit upward above the lamp in addition to the front sides and the back. Thirdly, the control buttons are now fixed on the Aura Light and offer light up touch controls, which means that they're a lot easier to operate in a low lit room and they are significantly quieter because they aren't tactile. Now I mention this because the original Aura has very clicky push buttons that could be disruptive when you operate them in the late hours and everyone else is asleep. And lastly, I really like the new power port design of the Aura Light, which hides the USB-C connector a lot better than the original, and it even offers a bit of cable management. As far as the color temperature range and lumen output, the original Aura and the Aura Light are identical, but I have noticed that the Aura Light seems to dim down in brightness a bit lower than the original, so the Aura Light would make an excellent nightlight for yourself or for your little ones. Personally, when it comes to daily use outside of the bedroom, I still prefer the original Aura because of its slightly slimmer build and the greater level of customization with the IC tech. But after getting the Aura Light in hand, I have to say that I'm actually wishing that I could move over some of these upgraded features to create the ultimate Aura Smart Table Lamp. But perhaps after watching this video, Govi just might consider introducing some kind of hybrid model so that we can get the best of both worlds. Shifting gears to the StarPal specifications. Now I want to point out that the StarPal is being offered in two different models one that only supports Bluetooth operation, and a Pro model that can support both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well as voice assistant compatibility, which is the model that I much prefer and will be focusing on for this particular video. The StarPal has a working voltage of 100 to 240 volts when the AC power brick is used, but what makes this device a more unique offering is that it also houses a 3,350 milliamp rechargeable battery which has a life of roughly four hours of continual use with a full charge. As with the Aura and the Aura Lite, this device features RGBWW technology, meaning that it's engineered with both a dedicated cool and warm white chip that provides very accurate color temperatures between 2200 and 6500 Kelvin at a max of 350 lumens. So the Star Pal can be used for more productive scenarios such as reading and working, in addition to the 16 million RGB colors available. The StarPal ships in a very compact and stealthy little box. At a glance, here are all components included inside. We have the Blue Govi service card and the user manual, a very slim AC power brick, which is a welcome sight, and then we have the StarPal lamp itself, which has a lot more weight to it than I was expecting, which is likely due to the rechargeable battery and the fact that the brain of the device is engineered into the lamp itself, as with the Aura Light, eliminating the need for an external control box. Now you can see where the inspiration for the StarPal comes from. 
but it's a cool looking device nonetheless. It looks a lot like a candle actually, with its clear outer shell and milky inner diffuser. And there's a power slash color swap button at the very bottom, right next to two supporting feet, that allows the lamp to be set flat on the tabletop or angled upward to cast a light at walls or other objects, which we'll take a closer look at in a little bit. You'll also notice that the AC power port is on the side of the star pal, right next to an internal mic that's used to sync the light with the music or any other audio in the vicinity. Setup for the star pal is an absolute breeze and shouldn't take more than a minute or two to complete. Once you have the Gobi app downloaded and created, simply tap the plus icon to add a new device and then locate the star pal pro within the indoor light tab at the very bottom. During the pairing process, you'll be asked to tap that power button on the very bottom of the unit, and from there, the Govi app will clearly walk you through the pairing process. At the very forefront of this particular device is portability. A fully charged battery for the StarPal will grant you roughly four hours of usage, unrestricted by power cables. You can place this lamp in pretty much any area you can possibly think of, without being limited by the distance from a wall outlet, and without unsightly cables hanging out. So feel free to walk around your entire home with this lamp in your hand. I don't know why anyone would do that, but uh, maybe there's a blackout. There you go. You can take it outside on patios or backyards. But here's one idea that I've been using it a lot for. Projecting the light at my PS5 stock panels to completely change the look of it with the push of a button. I know a lot of people end up swapping out the plates or customizing them to create different looks. But it's really cool that I could create the illusion that the plate colors have changed without having to actually remove them. Again, there's a single button on the underside of the star pal that acts as both the power and the color toggle button. When the device is powered off, you can long press that button for three seconds to fire it up. And from there, you can tap that same button to swap between the RGB colors. Now here's something that's really important to understand when you're ready to power the device off and it's not plugged into a wall outlet. Long pressing the power button for two seconds will indeed cause the light to shut off, but this is actually a sleep state that allows for you to continue to operate the star pal using either app or voice as normal. But when the star pal is in this sleep state, the battery will continue to drain if the AC power cord is not plugged back in. But you will get notifications via the app when the battery is nearly depleted. On the other hand, if you want to fully power down the device for an extended period and save battery, hold down the power button for a full 10 seconds, at which time you'll see the light flash blue to let you know that you were successful. Powering off the device in this way will save battery, but it's important to keep in mind that you won't be able to turn it back on using either the app or voice until you physically power it back on by holding down the power button for three seconds. Even when the power cord is in use, I really like that you're able to adjust the angle without the cord interfering with stability. As far as the Govi Home app features, the star pal syncs up with your music using either the internal mic on the lamp itself or the microphone on your cell phone. When it comes to the Scenes tab, there are 32 modes to choose from. Bonfire, Universe, and Canyon, among my favorite. Now there isn't a finger sketch feature currently offered with the Star Pal, but you are able to create your own custom effects, customizing the speed in which the color shifts, as well as their movement using the DIY tab. I'd say the best way to utilize the star pal is to designate a main area for it that looks good that's also near an outlet. And then throughout the evenings, reposition the lamp as you see fit around your home. And just before you turn in each night, return it back to that charge station so you can put the lamp back in that sleep state where it's still responsive to both app and voice commands. Moreover, one nitpick that I have is that the brightness cannot be regulated using the physical button. This means that you'll always have to adjust the brightness using either the app or voice. I get that there's only a single button here on the star pal and that it's already acting as both the power and the color toggle, but it would have been a really awesome feature if Govi could have baked in a brightness dial as well. For example, two short presses could adjust the brightness by increments of five. 
One pro I think the StarPow actually has over the FlowPro bars is that you can project the light more upward to cover more real estate on the wall because the angle of the bars cannot be adjusted in any way and they only fire straight back. That said, if you're already ingratiated within the Govi ecosystem already, I think that this one is a no-brainer if you've been wanting more flexibility with your RGB decor. Support for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Google Home Assistant, she who should not be named, as well as Siri at a more limited capacity, makes the StarPow a very nice little value proposition, especially considering that it's only a fraction of the cost as compared to the competition. And nope, there are no hubs required. If you're interested in picking up the StarPow for yourself, make sure to use the limited time codes to take advantage of the discount. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. And if you'd like to see more future content like this, make sure to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.